Hey folks, uh, John Becker here, state representative from Claremont County, 65th House District, speaking to you once again as a private citizen. Today I am announcing that in the 12th District Court of Appeals, I filed what's called a complaint for a writ of mandamus. Now my wife's a Latin teacher, she tells me it's pronounced mandamus, but whatever. So what that is, is uh, you know, if successful, what that means is the Court of Appeals would then order the Claremont County prosecutor to follow the law. And in this case, the law is clear that when you're filing a private citizen affidavit, the prosecutor must, or the court, frankly, the court or the prosecutor, must do one of two things. Either issue an arrest for the offending person, that would be Governor DeWine in this case, because there's a felony, uh, felony count involved, the court must order an arrest or an investigation. So that's where the prosecutor comes in. In Claremont County, that didn't happen. The uh, case was uh, su summarily uh, dismissed by the prosecutor, hence uh, this uh, writ of uh, mandamus, uh, or mandamus action that uh, is now before the appellate court. Now, if you needed to do one of these in your own county, number one, I highly recommend you get an attorney to do this. You can do it without an attorney but don't go there. Get an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, don't do it. Uh, if you need a recommendation for an attorney, use the one or talk to the, to the gentleman that I use. His name is Nick Owens. You can contact him at uh, Nick, N-I-C-K, Nick at NickOwensLaw.com. That's Nick at NickOwensLaw.com. Tell him I sent you. So he's a young guy, sharp attorney, and uh, he's he's been a uh, a prosecutor or an assistant prosecutor for a number of years in uh, Brown County and um, you know see if he'd be interested in uh, taking the case. He's, uh, he's a nice guy. He'll, uh, at minimum, he'll certainly uh, uh, chat with you, let you know what your options are. But hey, regardless, there's been some success in uh, Miami County and uh, Montgomery County that these uh, PCAs, the private citizen affidavits, uh, have been filed and uh, you know what the prosecutor is doing with them, uh, we don't know at this point. Uh, so what I'm recommending is, first off, I want everybody to do this in, in their counties. Let's get this done in all 88 counties. If you're getting stonewalled, so, you, so your first uh, uh, point of contact would be the clerk of court's office. Now, frequently, the people working the, you know, the window there, you know, they've never seen these before, don't know what they are, don't know what to do with them. So, you know, give them the benefit of the doubt. That's probably true. So you point out to them what the law is. And all that information I have out on, um, uh, out on the Becker Report, Look at the September edition at BeckerGOP.com. Look for the Becker Report, September edition. And you can see all that documentation out there regarding the law and the fine print and where you find all this uh, information. And then the uh, document that's uh, a five-page uh, press release, it's, it's all written in layman's terms. I wrote it. I'm not an attorney, so I wrote it in pretty uh, simple language that I can understand, frankly. So, you know, so, so follow those steps. If the, uh, if the clerk of courts, if, if you get stonewalled there, uh, I, I wouldn't waste a lot, of, a lot of time with them. Go then uh, just directly to a judge or, or to the prosecutor. The, uh, so the law requires, well, the law requires that the uh, clerk of courts actually accept the uh, private citizen affidavit, but if they refuse, just, just move on. Go to the prosecutor's office where they are required by statute to, uh, at, at a minimum, launch an investigation. So if they refuse to do that, well, then there's, there's a couple of things you can do. You can do what I did, and that's go to uh, the writ of mandamus uh, route, and you can file that in, that in your local court. You can file it at the appellate court level or at the Supreme Court level. Again, don't do this without an attorney. You know, uh, it, it won't go well for you. Unless, uh, unless you got a lot of, <laughs> unless you're a sharp guy and got a, got a lot of time on your hands to figure these things out, which I don't. It's just a lot easier to hire an attorney. So the, uh, the other thing then is, um, uh, let's see, I'm looking at my notes. The, yeah, so the other option is the, what I would call the uh, political route. That is, if your prosecutor is uh, not moving on this, or they're not following the law, well, then there's, there's letters to the editor, there's uh, guest editorials, you know, bring this to uh, public attention. If the, if the uh, uh, you know, this, well, there's another possibility here. If, uh, if you're an attorney, consider running for prosecutor yourself. Um, you know, and, and if the clerk of courts in your county is not uh, taking care of you, 
Uh, if you have a pulse, r run for clerk of courts. So you know, there's there's uh, political ways to handle these things when uh, when people aren't doing their jobs. Um, you know, unless you uh, want to go through the uh, judicial uh, process, which does cost money. It wasn't a lot of money. Filing fee was, you know, I, I think it was $225 or something like that to do this in Claremont County at the 12th uh, District uh, Court of Appeals level. I think it's a similar fee at the uh, Supreme Court level. So this isn't real expensive, but an attorney can be expensive. So talk to your attorney or talk to Nick Owens and uh, get, get some pricing and decide if you want to go forward with that. So uh, the other thing then, Again, I'm looking at my notes here. Is uh, you know you can periodically do a in a um, public records request. So ask your prosecutor for the investigative records. You know, so after you let's say you filed this today in your local court, give them a couple of days, follow up. You know, find out. You know, is there an investigation? You know, is it moving? You know, you don't really need a lot of detail at that point. Uh, at some point, maybe every couple of weeks. Do a, do a public records request and ask for the investigative records. You know, what is the prosecutor doing to look into this matter? Is it, you know, is it moving forward? Or have they issued, a, a, you know, the, uh, um, the um, arrest warrant for, for, for the governor? Don't see that happening, but uh, anything's possible. Last thing I want to talk to you about is the end game. Why am I doing this? Why am I encouraging you to do this? What is this all about? Well, it's not about hounding prosecutors or clerk of courts. It's really not even about hounding the governor so much. It's, it's about the rule of law, and the governor is the problem here. And this isn't anything personal. It never has been. This is about getting the state opened up. This is about getting businesses opened up. It's about you know, lifting these, these illegal restrictions and, and, these, and these mandates, and, and let's get Ohio back on track. I mean, you know, if these restrictions and mandates are good ideas, then bring it to the General Assembly and let the General Assembly do it. You know, you know, the Ohio or, or any place else countries was never intended or meant for dictatorial powers. And that's what the problem is. So, hey, if I can help you in any way, my information is at the end of this video. Please uh, reach out to me and uh, I'll do what I can for you. Again, this is John Becker, state representative from uh, Claremont County, speaking to you as a private citizen. Have a good day. Bye-bye.